And that cute little right angle on the plate, that's for your starchy cards, buddy. Keep my glutes, because if it was up to me, it'd go straight to my ass. I'm not God's favorite, and you're probably not either. God, like I hate counting calories. It's so hard. Like I just can't stay consistent with my nutrition. Like this is just too much. Like I can't do this. Blah 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 blah. Welcome back to my channel, Stain. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Talia. On this channel, not only are you going to get educated, all right, you're welcome. That's today's video. You're gonna be entertained and you're gonna be fondled. It's called being effed. So if you want me to F you, bye. Just go ahead and click to subscribe. All right, join the cult. It's a good time, I promise. I'm not a lawyer. You can ask everyone down below. They'll route for me. Stinkies unite. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to get lean, get shredded without having to count calories. It's not as difficult as it is, and it's actually something that I've been graciously able to implement in myself. And I've been having a great fucking time, okay? Because everybody hates tracking. <laughs> Nobody likes doing it. Even the people that do it consistently don't like doing it. Trust, it's annoying, it's frustrating, it's tedious. Like who that like we don't have time for that all the time. Ain't nobody got time for that. And there are ways around it. Obviously, you have to think back in the day, just weren't using my fitness pal or chronometer to track their food. Those things didn't exist. So how are they doing it? And like I said, you do not need <gasps> to count calories to lose weight or fat. But let me say this real quick, okay? It can be extremely difficult to be successful in this space if you are unwilling to listen to your body. And that is a very intentional thing you have to do. You need to be open-minded during this journey, okay? You do. Figuring out your body, paying attention to your habits, being intuitive with who you are wholeheartedly, all of that takes takes a lot of time, okay? I've been in this space for six years and I'm still not struggling. <laughs> not struggling anymore, but I'm still working on that myself. Just be patient, keep learning, and never give up. Disclaimer done. That's the end of my TED talk. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about nutrition um, and I'm gonna break this down in a super simple way for you, okay? Now first things first, we are gonna talk about a circle. I know so exciting and a right angle so if you don't remember geometry buddy i'm gonna need you to have a refresher course okay a little one now whenever you are eating okay you want your plate to be split up into three different sections okay the first section is going to consist of your starchy carbs and for those of you who don't know what i mean when i say starchy carbs i'm talking about your potatoes your rice your pastas okay i know you fuck with pasta we can tell i'm joking that's a joke <laughs> don't cancel me oh i love you all the second section are going to be your fibrous carbs okay so that's your veggies your fruits similar shit to that and the final section is going to be your protein source okay whether that's meat or non-meat proteins okay i didn't forget about my vegans and veg got you homie now when it comes to carbohydrates right carbs unfortunately okay are the most satiating and the least satisfying what does that mean what's that mean oh my god i don't know what that means hold up so in layman terms carbs feel really good going down okay they do mmm delish but fun fact okay they don't last they don't and that combination is extremely detrimental to your journey it is I'm a carb slut I love them okay, but real quick before I finish that thought I do want to take an opportunity to introduce this week's sponsor let's give a huge shout out to Thrive Market for sponsoring this week's video Yay! Yay! So for those of you who don't know, Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store. What? A grocery store can be online-based? Crazy. Yeah, it can, buddy. And their mission is to make healthy living a lot more accessible and affordable for everyone. And there's a crap ton of guaranteed savings on there. Now, the cool thing about Thrive is that you can actually filter the catalog and products by diet and lifestyle, product types, and your favorite little brands, all right, bro? So if you're gluten-free or vegan, okay, God forbid. <laughs> I'm joking. Or keto, they actually have over 90 plus diets and values. So you can really customize your groceries to like what you need. Also as a Thrive member, you'll save on every single order every single one and if you find a lower price somewhere else they'll price match it so i want to show you guys what i got okay so i actually got a whole bunch of snacks i'm not even gonna lie when i was ordering this you can tell that it was that time of the month for me and i don't have any shame so i got these sea salt and vinegar potato crisps i got vegan marshmallows um i just wanted to try them and i can attest to the fact because i ate one of the packs already guys it was really a struggle for me to wait to film this video um so i ate a lot of the snacks already but these taste better the regular marshmallows and it's frustrating. I was like, okay, vegan. I also got like these smart sweets and I'm actually gonna have this as my pre-workout snack today before I go to the gym. Seed wheat crisp, 
honey mustard and onion pretzels. Um, the bag's already open. I got some fruit snacks, maple glazed salmon bites. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the link in my description box down below for you guys so that you guys can get 30% off your first order and, okay, and a free gift worth up to $60. I believe I got to choose out of a couple of different things and I ended up going with this chocolate bar. So again, you can clearly tell that it was that time of the month when I was ordering this. <laughs> now let's also give you another huge thank you to Thrive for sponsoring this week's video and then constantly supporting this channel. Kisses! Enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so now back to the circle. All right, we're getting back to those shades, buddy. Now I want you to split your circle up with one right angle and then the rest of it cut in half. The first big half is for your protein. The second big half are for your fibrous carbs, AKA the veggies, yummy, yummy. And that cute little right angle on the plate, that's for your starchy carbs, buddy. You know, it's shit that gets you caked up. It is. Now a majority of you don't eat like that, okay? Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. I don't eat like that majority of the time before I started this fitness journey. I'm a carb girl. I'm a carb girly pop, which is why I was 200 plus pounds at 16. Now, a lot of us are over consuming our starchy carbs. And those are the carbs that are the most calorically dense. In layman terms, I'm just saying they have the most calories. So what's funny about that is that a majority of us prefer the most of the one item that's adding the majority of the calories to our meals. Are you seeing a problem with that? I am. So now we're eating an overconsumption of calories, which is adding more fat onto our bodies. And honestly, I wouldn't be too mad at that, okay? If I got to choose what the f it went, but I don't, okay? Because if it was up to me, it'd go straight to my ass. I'm not God's favorite. And you're probably not either. And that's okay, okay? That's why I made this video. Now, I personally would put a shit ton of money on it that if you start adopting this new style of eating, you'll notice some huge changes in just a week. Okay, so now I kinda wanna get into tip number two, right? Or I wanna get into a more subjective topic, right? Something that we all need to work on is listening to our bodies. Eat until you're satisfied, babe, not till you're full. If you grew up in a household like I did, a lot of us grew up having to finish our plate before we were allowed to leave the table. I remember a specific case of this with some Swedish meatballs that I did not like. I sat at that table till 12 a.m. Okay, it was awful and it's because my parents would not let me leave until I cleaned that mother And I know I'm not the only one I can't be okay And if I am and it's like a little sign of abuse, okay, I'm going to therapy <laughs> But a lot of us are adults now or we are young women or young men who are almost into adulthood and we do not have to do that I still struggle with this even today I find myself going out to restaurants ordering food and feeling it necessary that I have to finish my plate And I have to remind myself that I do not have to do that once it gets to the point where you feel like you're forced feeding yourself to finish that you're no longer enjoying it you should have been stopped okay put the fork down and don't feel guilty about not taking it to go if anything that will only make you a lot more conscious about how much to order next time you go out because nobody wants to waste food we don't we feel guilty about it especially in america now i promise you start doing this and you'll unintentionally decrease your overall consumption by at least 10 to 20 percent and that's a decent amount bro okay another thing guys stop eating on autopilot i'm guilty of this sorry maybe i still do this Okay, working on it. But I'm talking about my social media fiends, my YouTube girlies, my TikTok scrollers, my Instagram stalkers who can't put their phone down while they're eating. Eating distracted is one of the easiest ways to overconsume food. And it's the mindless eating that you. Also slow down, okay? And I'm, I'm really talking to my male viewers or anybody that's probably in the military. Slow down. There's a fucking rush. There isn't. The slower you eat, the more aware you'll be when you're actually satisfied. Let me give you an example, okay? Specifically for anyone that's 21 and up, okay? If you're not, I don't condone this. I'm joking. I really don't condone that. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Give me that. But I was in college once, okay? And as someone that hates the way that liquor tastes, doesn't really enjoy it at all, I would honestly like binge drink in the beginning like i would drink everything that i was going to drink within like the first 30 40 minutes so that i wouldn't have to have a drink later in the night you know i could just be drawn i'm like oh i don't need your shot i'm already there i'm having a good time let me tell you the issue with that is you don't know how much is too much until you wake up blacked out on someone's couch versus just slowing down pacing yourself and feeling out your intoxication as the day goes on the same thing applies with eating okay this is my final tip we made it simplicity beats complexity every single time every single time this next tip is what i am personally doing right now and i've been able to be extremely consistent and feel really really good about it and i've yielded some quite amazing results this year well also 
keeping my glutes. Now, if you do want to include some type of hybrid tracking, especially if your goal a little bit more nitpicky or you've been in this space for a really, really long time and you don't want to track every single day or every single week, I got you. I want you to meal prep some meals that have predefined portions, okay? So let's say my goal is to eat around 2,000 calories a day. Well, let's say I split it up to three meals a day and maybe two snacks, okay? So that means that each of those meals need to be around 500 calories and each of those snacks need to be around 250 calories with obviously with a decent amount of protein in there. That means all I need are around three to seven predefined meals and or snacks that I can just rotate with. That way you don't have to track, you can just interchange the meals when bored and still stay in your desired deficit and it makes making adjustments super easy in your diet because you already know what you're consuming so if you're tracking your weight and you're realizing that you're not seeing any results okay well just you know decrease the portions you already know what you're consuming just decrease the portions a little bit it's it's really just that simple again like I said we overcomplicate a lot of things and I understand like in this fitness space there is so much knowledge out there and there's so much to consume and take in and obviously being in a fitness journey is an experiment and you're finding what works for your body and what doesn't work for your body. And that's okay. You're not going to figure it out in, in a day. You're not, okay? I promise you the simpler route when it comes to this stuff is probably the best one for longevity. Now listen, okay, if you find yourself in need of a little bit more help in this area, that's okay. It's not shameful to get help, buddy. Sorry, I got a little bit closer because I wanted us to be more intimate with this. I just wanted to let you know that I also offer one-on-one -on -one training. Okay, I do. I get intimate with my clients. I love them. Respectfully, with consent, on to sign. My primary focus is fat loss and body recomposition. Here are some of my client results. And then I also have more client results and my client highlights on my Instagram. And if you don't already follow my Instagram, you're being fake. All right, I post more fitness content on there. I'm gonna go ahead and link my application in my description box down below. It's time to get right, babe. Summer's here. <laughs> now, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, stop being fake. All right, I know you like this video. It was good. I'm fun. The cold is still growing. My little stings. I'm so proud of us. I'm so happy of everything that we've accomplished this year. Um, and I want to keep growing and keep showing the love and spreading it with everybody else. And if you're little. Nana doesn't subscribe, you let her know that I'm gonna fondle those wrinkles, okay? Scout's honor. That's all, folks.